Hello there, this is Ford Splish Splash and today we're going to take a look at Universal Studios and Islands of Adventure. Me and my family was here in Orlando, Florida in the beginning of July 2014. And the first tip that I will give you when you go to a theme park like this is to go there early in the morning. Usually they open around 9 a.m. and be there about 8.30 or maybe even earlier or quarter two at least quarter to nine because when you get in you will see something like this and you can make your way f straight up to the far end of the park because not many people would be there in the beginning so that's the pro tips for today you just saw the incredible hulk over there but here is the poseidon's fury and we're passing that as well because guys we want to move on until we reach the wizarding world of harry potter if you've read the books you will definitely recognize uh, the environment here. There are some stores that you can get into, but also a few rides. And we took uh, on the first roller coaster here. Pretty cool, got a few loops and such. Good warm up, I might say. It's not that one, that is mostly for the smaller children. But anyway, we also got into the castle and there is a nice ride as well there. 3D ride with all the characters from Harry Potter. That's me, oh my god. So we're moving on and we're getting down to the big adventures here in the Jurassic Park, the Lost World. And uh, we took on a ride, <laughs> we got pretty wet going with the river adventure ride. As you can see it's uh, quite beautiful here, really neat. So after that we went on straight down because we wanted to pass the Toon Lagoon in order to get to Marvel Superhero Island. There are some pretty cool rides there that we wanted to try. As I mentioned a little bit earlier, we uh, went with the Incredible Hulk. And that's a roller coaster you can't miss if you go to uh, this park. And another good thing here in the park is single rides. You just split up the company and go in that line, and that's a time saver for sure. So bear that in mind if you go to one of these theme parks. Not everyone has them, but some have them, and that's really good. This is between Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. It's very close between them. As you can see, it's like walking along the water here. Quite beautiful and nice. I think it's about seven minutes. So eventually we're getting into Universal Studios. And in here, uh, we did about the same thing actually. We moved on pretty quickly up, straight up on the map, so to speak. We usually grab a map and then we move on. Well, this is a ride that is called Rocket. It's also pretty cool. You can see the start there is quite, uh, well, ecstatic. <laughs> you go straight up and then there's a drop. But we want to move on to go to a pretty cool ride. Uh, but first we're gonna say hi to a friend over here. Yes, there's Optimus Prime. And oh, that's me by the way. Well, the ride hasn't been open that long. Um, you, will <laughs> you will see it pretty soon. Uh, we're taking a view here over the park as well, or at least a part of it. Uh, there we got the big Optimus Prime on the roof. This is a pretty cool 3D ride that you can go and do and uh, there's a lot of effects and a splash zone as well i feel at home splish splash after that we've gone through the adventures with the optimus prime and his fellows we wanted to do some classics so we went up and we did the uh, men in black alien attack and we also took on the Simpsons ride. Over there you can actually see a part that is new. It's the Diagon Alley which will open pretty soon in Universal Studios. A new Harry Potter place. But here you can see some environments from Simpsons. I actually bought a great donut over there. I can recommend that. <laughs> Bumblebee. Well, moving on. Gonna show you some view again so you can take a look and uh, hopefully get inspired to go here i would definitely recommend you to do that you can also spend some extra money if there's a lot of people in the park you can buy fast pass or quick passes i think they're called here in universal studios but again if the single rides are available go with them 
our two children are quite, uh, you know, they're 14 and 17, so that's not a problem to, to do that. Anyways, you will also have some performances on the streets and the boardwalks along the way uh, when you're going. There's some pretty cool dudes doing things that you shouldn't try at home. Here I'm showing you another place in the park and uh, well it's uh, a lot of movie stars you might meet here. I almost walked into Marilyn Monroe earlier this morning. But we also did uh, the E.T. and the Termina Terminator 2 right here. Well I hope you enjoyed this vid. Please give a thumbs up and like and see you soon again. I'm gonna post some more vids from more theme parks so stay tuned for that. This was for Splish Splash. Bye bye.